November's over, we're into December, and it's time to look at what happened in the month of November for the real estate market in Orange County for single family home transactions. Let's take a look at inventory, sales prices, and days on market so that we can get an idea of what the trends are telling us for what's gonna happen in the first quarter of 2022. This is Kiwi The Coast, your luxury real estate specialist, helping you maximize and sell the value of your home. Now, new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's dive into the data. So first, let's look at the new listings. These are the single family homes that are coming to the market for the month of November in Orange County. Now, if you look back to October, that number was 1436. November, is it up or down? Guess what, it's down, 1109. So what does it mean to you buyers out there? Well, there's less inventory of replacing those homes that are sold. We think that market's gonna stay strong and get tighter because we're seeing that replacement inventory drop. Before we look at the number of actual sales that occurred in the month of November for single family homes in Orange County, we have to look at the number of homes that are actually being transacting, that's under contract or pending. Now, in the month of November, we had 1,280. That's 1,280 homes transacting. And that is down from 1,407, the number that was for October. So what does this mean? Well, we've got a drop off, which is kind of expected in the number of homes transacting. Part of it's due to the seasonality. Part of it's due to the drop of inventory. So now let's look at the number of sales of single family homes that occurred in Orange County for the month of November. Now that's actual closings, the deeds have been recorded. So if we look at October, that number was 1,720. What about for the month of November? Well, you guessed it, that number has dropped to, wait for it, 1,596. Not unexpected given the seasonality, you know, those transactions would have occurred in October and November, or at least initiated then. And of course, the overall reduction in inventory starting to take its toll, putting pressure on prices up, of course. So days on market, last month, if you recall, that average was 20 days on market from when a home went on the market to when it went under contract. What's happened? It's about the same. We've dropped one day for the month of November. We're down at 19 days on the market very tight market out there. So what about the active inventory? That's that pool of homes that a buyer could look at and purchase right now, or at least for the month of November. In October, if you recall, that number was 2319. And what's happened for this month? Well, it's dropped 1956 homes in that pool available to buyers to purchase. Very tight market. So what does it tell us for the new year? We're gonna see prices probably continuing to rise because the inventory is just not available for the buyers to have much choice. So let's take a look at the average list price of the homes that are available in the marketplace. Last month, October, it was 1.669 million. What are we seeing this month or in November? It was a million five, just a tad more than a million five, the average list price for the buyers to be looking at homes out there. Hey, I hope you found all that information valuable. Now, it's a wrap for November. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on all the matters affecting you and the real estate market. See you on the next video. Varun.